Okay, so here I am looking at the screen the way it currently is and uh, I'm going to show you how to configure it so that the layout, you can make the layout the way you want it because uh, if I move over to screen 2 uh, there is the redox uh, all the way over there by itself and screen 3 is nothing for you have lots of screens here, 5 and go back to 1 okay so I'm gonna go to the menu and I'm gonna go to home setup and in home setup now you have at the type selection here at the top tells you what kind of devices you're looking at and it right now you can see you can kinda of see it's color coded the power units you have the same color here except they call it UP I think that's a a uh, slight error in the software it should probably be PU um, for power unit but uh, somebody reversed it but I guess that next update that will change and S I know is the sensors I suspect DL over here is the lighting um, dimmable lighting I'm not sure or LED lighting and PD and, and DP those might be uh, the pumps um, for wave generation or because I know Aquatronica sells uh, several different uh, controllable speed variable pump uh, modules so for right now it shows you the way the screen is laid out and you can see that I have at the top here on the first eight all of the, the power units and then down here you can see that there is the sensors down here in that reddish color so I'm gonna pick S for sensors here and now I get the sensors and I'm gonna say okay well I wanna put the tank temperature let me put that as probably right up here at the top so I press tank temperature then I press over here where I want it to go and you have two additions here and I'm not sure what the top one does but the bottom one as you can see matches the look of these uh, widgets so when you press that one it'll move it and you see it move there and now I'm gonna move um, probably next to that I want to know the tank pH and I'm gonna put that here and I'm gonna move that and now I want to know the um, salinity um, so I'm going to press the salinity, put it here, and press that and move it there. And next, the redox, put it here. So those are all there, all right? Now, uh, probably the next thing you want to do, um, let me just see something here. okay so I have all of those there tank temperature um, the only thing left is the sump level um, how critical well yes I probably do want that nearby I would normally put on all the other level sensors on the next row but let's put sump level here and we'll put that there good now that's done and I'm gonna go out and just take a quick look at how that looks press the Aquatronica screen here and there you can see that it's moved those widgets uh, right up to the top and my F G and H power units which I didn't label are probably off on the next screen or they're not even assigned to a screen yet so let's assign those so we go back into the menu we go back into the home setup and you can just do this you know as you go along so here I have my main pump and I'm gonna put my main pump right here and add it I'm gonna put the air pump here and add it I'm gonna put the lighting here and add it 
I'm going to put the sump light here and add it. And I'm going to put the, did I add that? Yeah. And I'm going to put now the RO pump and I'm going to add that. And I have space for more, so I'm going to put um, ones that I haven't assigned here F, add that, and G, add that one here. And now I'm going to move, I'm on page one here, I'm going to move to page two, and I'm going to put G, which I think I haven't assigned, over here. No, I think I already signed that actually. Let me put H over here. It probably moved the first one off of the page. Yes, it did. G, put it here. Add that. So, let's see what that looks like. So, great. Uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to have uh, in terms of how it would look. Um, it's all set up there and um, as I said you'd probably have more sensors as your tank goes along and um, you'd put the power units on the second page and you're, you're scrolling you can turn on the scrolling so it goes through them so if I go to menu and I go to settings and uh, display and I set the scrolling to every three seconds and press OK. All right, and now back out of the men or go to Aquatronica here, a home screen. It should start scrolling between the two pages. And if there were more pages, it would keep scrolling um, through each one consecutively. So basically um, that's how you set up your home screen the way you want it and um, next I'm gonna move on to calibrating uh, one probe so you can see how that works